Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with um, a new type of reading that I'm trying for you on YouTube. And so this is um, a reading specific for the area of work and finances, or how you make uh, your money, how you earn a living, um, work, career, personal business, anything to do with work and finances. Um, and so we're going to keep these readings short because I want to be able to do them weekly. So uh, we're going to keep them short uh, and to the point in terms of uh, anything you may need to know, if there's anything you know you need a heads up on, any cautions you may uh, be looking at, or any opportunities um, coming to you during that particular time frame. We're just going to be using tarot cards for this spread, uh, just three tarot cards, and um, see where it takes us okay so i'm looking forward to your feedback let me know in the comments section if you enjoy the readings and more importantly if you find them useful because that's my intent here and it's very sunny outside and uh, my blinds are not really do, uh, doing a good job but uh, hopefully we can work through this okay so um, be sure to watch your sun sign moon sign and rising sign readings uh, to get a bigger picture as to what may be coming up for you and of course keep an open mind uh, some things may apply, some things may not apply. Okay, it's general readings for thousands of people, so do keep that in mind. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Thank you for your support. I do appreciate it. So let's jump in, see what we get. Okay, have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hi, Libra, and welcome to your reading. Let's jump in and see what's coming up for you for work and finances between March the 2nd until the 12th of 2017. So at the bottom of the deck, as your overall energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is all about being practical. It's all about making plans for the future. It's all about investing uh, uh, during this time, investing in yourself, investing in the home, investing in your education. Okay, so making some decisions now towards stability in the future. Okay, could also be coming up here with the Queen of Pentacles. It's definitely a focus on money matters, putting money aside or uh, saving money or uh, starting a, a fund or putting money in a savings account towards buying a house or buying property, okay, with this kind of energy. Uh, or you're looking at working for yourself with this kind of energy. Let's look at your other cards. We have the Page of Pentacles. I'm sorry about the light, guys. There's really nothing I can do. We have the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So, okay, here's what's going on. For some of you, remember this is not for everyone. Uh, it's not going to make sense to everyone, okay? For some of you, this is what's going on. Uh, you are dealing with an offer that falls through Try not to freak out because with the Wheel of Fortune here, this is this was meant to happen. This was a good thing that it happened. This was a blessing that that happens if that happens to you. And try to see it through, okay, to see where it takes you because there will be a new door open when this door is closed, okay? So you're about to see changes. And I do feel like it's about an offer that falls through for some of you, an offer that is made that looks really great, but if you look at it closely, it has a no future, it is a dead end. And with the Wheel of Fortune, this is all about keeping things moving, moving forward, not keeping yourself stuck there, going for the change. A door closes, but new doors are open, okay? So keep your eyes open for the new doors as opposed to whatever this is that falls through for some of you. Also, pay attention to the details, that's your key here. Whatever opportunity you receive, Whoever's talking to you about money, whoever is talking to you about, you know, hey, you want to make some money quick, definitely pay attention to that. You know, there's definitely nothing good with that <laughs> kind of conversation, okay? But just look at the details, okay, with the Page of Pentacles here. Just look at the details. Really look at things with, you know, kind of fine comb. Um, because if it is a dead end, you, you will see it. It, was, it will be clear with just minimal research if you pay attention. For others of you, um, I feel like this is trying to invest in your education, 
trying to study something, trying to go back to school or trying to take part in a training course uh, or a workshop or anything like that, that may fall through with the Ten of Swords, that may come to an end. But with the Wheel of Fortune, again, karma is at work here in your work life and financial life. Uh, it will be talking about change. Things are not set in stone also for others of you. Something that falls through, it's not the end of it, okay? Something that you really wanted, maybe to do with education uh, or training of some sort or kind of just improving, developing yourself or your uh, profession, your trade, your craft. Um, if that falls through, like, you know, when you apply for something and they come back to you and they say, sorry, uh, it's booked, it's fully booked, we're fully booked, we can't take on any more people. It feels like that sort of situation, okay? But with the Wheel of Fortune, things can turn around, okay? This can also talk about things turning around, like something that was an end actually turns around and you get a second chance at it. For some of you, that's definitely coming across. Something from the past, something that was over, something that you thought was done, coming back around, you get a second chance at it. For those of you, be careful where you put your money. Again, read the fine print. Because something is something is done and dusted. Something falls through. This could be being stabbed in the pack, back as well. So be careful who you give money to. Be careful what you invest in. This is betrayal, being stabbed in the back, theft, fraud, and they're taking off, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. There's, they're nowhere to be found after that. So just double check, double check, look at it in detail, maybe talk to an, uh, an advisor, an accountant or anything like that, okay, especially if it's a large sum of money and you're not completely sure you have all the information you need before you decide if you want to make that investment, double check, better safe than sorry, okay, that should be your attitude uh, when it comes to work and finances, okay, for this time frame, better safe than sorry. Think for the future, think of the future, don't go for uh, the quick win. Okay, don't go for the easy road. It's going to be a scam. And for some of you, this is an air sign. So another air sign, Gemini, Libra, or uh, Aquarius doing this to you. For others, this is an earth sign offering something. All that glitters is not gold. So earth signs are Taurus for Capricorn. Okay, what else? For some of you, if you have asked for a loan, you may get denied, but the Wheel of Fortune says there's going to be something else coming out of it. Better for you with the Wheel of Fortune. So don't lose hope. Keep yourself going. Okay, don't be stuck there and feel defeated. Keep looking for other opportunities. Keep yourself going. There's going to be something else just around the corner for you. Further, this could be a situation regarding your health having to spend some money on your health during this time. Maybe a procedure that you have to travel for. Maybe uh, you hurt your back and you have to take a certain amount of time off to recover and you can't control or, or it's difficult to define how long this period is supposed to be that you can take time off. But ultimately, okay, I do see a positive turn of events here. So just be extra careful. Just be extra careful. And you are headed towards a change uh, next week, towards the end of next week, okay? Uh, so the week of the 6th. Okay, you're, you're moving your way towards a change. For some of you, you're getting ready to move. That's where the investment is. 
You can no longer be where you are. You have to move. This could also be receiving money to put an end to a really difficult situation and give yourself a new beginning, a fresh start. Okay? For some of you, it could be that. And this could be with your work situation or it could be with your personal situation where you're stuck in a place you don't want to be but you can't afford to go someplace else. Okay, this is about receiving that money, receiving that support that you're asking for to put an end to that situation and move, move away. Start fresh. Have a second chance. Give yourself a fresh start. Also, you know, this is about be prepared for surprises. Expect the unexpected during this time. So do what you can. Double check what you can. Pay attention to the details. Um, and just keep yourself going, okay? Whatever happens, just keep focusing on moving forward. Just keep focusing on what you can do about the situation as opposed to feeling stuck or defeated or hurt. All right? It's really, really important because you are headed towards positive, uh, positive changes, okay? So um, that's the ring that I have for you. I really hope that it makes sense. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Let me know uh, how these cards make sense to you if they apply to you. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful time ahead, uh, and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.